now at six, four people turned themselves in to face criminal charges nearly two years after the air conditioning failed at a Hollywood nursing home. Hurricane Irma had knocked out the AC to that facility. Now four employees face charges in connection with those deaths. CBS 4's Joan Murray is at the Broward County Jail in Fort Lauderdale with details. Joan. We're coming up on the two year anniversary of Hurricane Irma when power was knocked out to thousands. It proved deadly at that nursing home in Hollywood. And now some of the people who were working at the time are here being booked into the Broward County Jail. The frantic efforts to save overheated patients at the Hollywood Hills Nursing Home post Hurricane Irma proved futile. 12 deaths were ruled homicides, including Albertina Vega. But they had no air conditioning in there. How they have those people, those old people? having problem. Now four of the staff on duty when the air conditioning failed are being charged criminally. Nursing home administrator Jorge Carballo, supervising nurse Sergo Collin, nurses Althea Meggie and Tamika Biller. Their attorneys say they are not to blame. The facility administrator uh, and the nurses were calling the, uh, were calling FPNL. They were calling the um, emergency operations center from the governor's office, and they were calling the governor himself, who was posting his cell phone number on television, saying for people to call if there was an emergency. Those people never responded and never came. Florida Senator Rick Scott, who was governor at the time, said, I'm glad these individuals are being held accountable after their inexplicable failure to call 911 when people were in need. The individuals responsible for the senseless deaths must be brought to justice. The nursing home was shut down. Their license was revoked. Now, the people affected by this tragedy still living with it today. 